Okay, hello, people. I put together this test for various different file compressors to show you that um, the overall best compressor is actually PAQ8P XD version 5. I've actually made a graphical user interface application for it and I haven't renamed it yet. But here. Um, it's also included in Ultimate File Manager. Which I made, this is a program I made. I'm considering releasing it onto the internet. I don't know whether I should yet though. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, the first test for the each compress compressor is um, compressing a basic program I made in Visual Basic, which is my Halen's lossless image format, which is my own image format, 164 kilobytes. This is arranged size from biggest to smallest. The smallest is the best compressed, which is PAQ8PXD. KGB Archiver, the archiver that everyone says is really good and has great compression ratios and everything. Yep, it's not as good as these two. These two beat it a couple of kilobytes on this test and there's uhark archiver, archiver which is sometimes seen to rip games with zpaq which are um, picked up off matt mahoney's website or however you pronounce his name it's pretty good but yeah 7-zip, um, I used the best compression settings here, which took me a while to figure out, with lots of compressing files, I'll show you what settings I've got on here, yep, this is the one, 7-zip, ultra, LZMA2, dictionary size 128, I don't put it any higher, because if you put it higher than 128, um, you won't be able to extract the archive on a 32-bit um, computer. It will only be able to be extracted on a 64-bit computer because this 32-bit version of 7-zip doesn't support any higher than 128 for um, decompression. So I kept it at that. Um, it would compress better if I put it higher. My laptop only has 4 gigabytes of RAM, so I could only put it up to that, so it doesn't really make much difference for me. Word size, I find that the maximum works the best. I don't really see any difference when you change this, I just keep it as solid. And number of CPU threads, 3 over 4, because when the memory, watch the memory usage, when I put it up to 4, boom, that's huge. Whereas I have a 1, to 3, barely changes. It goes straight up to 3 gigabytes as soon as I do that. Anyway, this is the first test. Zip comes last. Ra, which is a WinRa one. Which um, provides moderate compression. It's pretty decent. Images. Zip, still in last place. Ra, still second last. Uhark in ALZ3 mode. That's what the ALZ is. ALZ3 with a dictionary size of 32 megabytes. Um, yeah. With multimedia compression on, I'm pretty sure. I've got the settings in that program, whatever you win, Uhark. 7-zip beats it, and then it's then beaten again by Uhark running in PPN mode with the same dictionary and multimedia compression settings. And then ZPAQ beats that slightly, 
and then comes KGB Archiver, and then PAQAP, then PAQAPXD. This is um, PNG HIM file, which is my Halo and image format. You double click on that. Where in image? My lossless image format. And yeah, a JPEG image. A uh, game, which is the pinball game that I was playing in my last video. It's got quite a few sounds. Which, um, the PAQ8P and PAQ8PXD have a specialized compression method for these WAV files. So that's why they compressed so well compared to all the other ones. KGB interestingly is beaten t twice by UHART, which I'm actually surprised. Zip still last place. Seven Zip surprisingly got beaten by Ra, which I actually don't see that happen that often. Which. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's actually happened, I think, a few times in these tests. Next. Okay, music. This is Zomboy Nuclear. I like that song. 7-Zip. Very interesting. It's come last. I don't know why this happened when I did it. Ra beat it. Even Zip beat it. Zip beat Ra in 7-Zip. Which is very interesting because... Zip only has a dictionary size of 64 kilobytes using deflate 64 method and it beat both of them which is very interesting next comes up PPM mode which is, is interesting because it that actually usually beats ALZ um, the difference is very small you see 987-288 and 986, 966, so that one's a little bit smaller. KGB again, beats most of them. ZPAQ has done actually quite well on this one, and PAQ8PXD has actually been beaten by um <coughs> PAQ8P. Which you know, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it does happen sometimes. And the final test is text files. Again, zip um, comes last. Ra is second last. And then there's the ALZ mode, which is back to normal, really. PPM mode is text op optimized, so you would expect it to come um, better or compressed better than. A was it and um seven zip yeah, is in the middle of them. So PAQ KGB KGB again coming very good and PAQ eight P X D is the best. Which is and this is what I got inside is the log file from the ultimate box. And Windows updates which is one megabyte. 1.3 megabytes was actually huge. Anyway, that is the test of compressors. I'm going to go and release this. I should probably rename it. Maybe. Have I still got it open? No, I don't. Um, that sucks. Okay. Well, I'm going to rename, rename this and release it onto the internet will provide a link in the YouTube video description so that you guys can download it and use PAQ 8PXD version 5 just like I can in Ultimate File Manager when I'm lazy I can do everything in one program whereas this is just drag and drop and it takes very long to compress 
like mm, refresh when I was compressing this 12 megabytes so it took about um probably a good 20 25 minutes to compress using that um so I probably don't recommend it for compressing big files because it's going to take a long time to decompress because the um the algorithm for compression decompression is not asymmetrical which means that um, compression and decompression take exactly the same time. Unlike 7-zip, where compression is at about 2 megabits a second, and um, decompression is around 15 to 20 megabits a second, which is asymmetrical, which is favorable. Anyway, I'm going to finish up this video. Goodbye.